in this set of videos we're going to look at fractions now fractions cause a lot of grief to students so if you can overcome that fear of fractions your maths becomes much easier so we'll start from the basics and we'll keep moving on until we get the full set of fractions within our heads this is a fraction that everybody knows as one half the top part is called the numerator the bottom part is called the denominator so it's important to know these two words and this here is the fraction line or fraction bar or vinculum now the main thing is you learn numerator and denominator now this here is called a proper fraction why is it called a proper fraction because the top part is smaller than the bottom part the numerator is smaller than the denominator now if you had to draw this what I like to do is I like to use this method the pizza model although some people don't like the pizza model I'll just start with that I draw a circle or a pizza and I put a dot in the middle and I'm going to cut this pizza into two equal parts and this is what your teacher will have shown you straight down the middle and that's the middle so this piece is equal to this piece they're both the same size so you have one two pieces and that's where that two comes from and now I want to eat one of the pieces so this bit here that I'm shading in I want to eat so I've eaten one half of this pizza now if you use the chocolate bar method what you do is you have a bar of chocolate and we're going to cut that bar into two equal pieces so it'll be straight down the middle here and we're going to eat one of them so I'll just shade this in this is the piece I'm going to eat so one half of this chocolate bar is shaded so this is the pizza model and this is the chocolate bar model now what happens if the top part is bigger than the bottom part if the numerator is bigger than the denominator now if this happens this is called an improper fraction so learn that the improper fraction where the top number is bigger than the bottom number where the numerator is bigger than the denominator now how do we draw this so let's look at the bottom number first I want each pizza to be cut into two equal pieces so look there's the center I'm going to draw a line straight down so I have one two equal pieces but if I look at the top number the numerator I want three of them pieces so I've got one two so I've not got enough so I have to go back and make another pizza again there's the center and I'm going to cut it into two equal pieces straight down the middle so I want three pieces all together I have one two and I need one more so now I have three halves one two three and this is called an improper fraction so we've done proper fraction we've done improper fraction and there's one more thing I want to teach you it's called the mixed number so let's try this three and a half so if you notice you have a whole part and a fraction part and you read this as three and a half now what does this mean this simply means that this three you have three whole pieces one two and three so let me draw the centers and then I have half a pizza there so I'm going to draw a whole pizza and I'm going to cut that pizza into two equal pieces straight down the middle now I only want one of those pieces so I'll shade that in 
So let me get this right. I've got three whole pieces. One, let me shade that in. Two. And three. So that's that number there. Three. One, two, three. And then this half is there. So I have three and a half pizzas. And this is called a mixed number because you have a whole part and a fraction part. So to finish off quickly, we have a fraction like this where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. This is called a proper fraction. Now, if you have a fraction like this, where the numerator is bigger than the denominator, this is called an improper fraction. And finally, you have a number like this, which is three and a quarter where you have a whole part and a fraction part, this is called a mixed number. So the keywords are numerator, denominator, proper fraction, improper fraction, and mixed number. Now see if you can answer some of these questions that follow on. And that's it for this lesson.